Hello everyone, my name is Arker and welcome back to episode number 20 of our Let's Play of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Oh, why are we on the screen, you may ask? I don't know, I just wanted to start here. Uh, holy crap, that is loud. But I'm gonna keep it that way. It is 8.30 p.m. Almost time for me to go to bed. After I do a couple more things. In the last episode, we went through the story and we got Dialga. So there is that. We got the boy. He's huge. I'm so glad that this game... Stop it. That keeps scaring me every single time. But we're meant to go this way. For many reasons that I will find out soon enough. Uh, so yeah, in the last episode, we caught Dialga. We also... Uh, oh, there's a cave. Just, uh, do this. Thank you. Oh, there's this. Some material that I don't know about. What a curious cave. I feel some extraordinary power here. As if the world itself was created in this very place. What do you think, Liam? 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 Taking into consideration my knowledge of orcs, my skill at mining, and the strength of my Sligu's movement moves. Oh, his uh, Gumi evolved to Sligu. I think you'd better leave my extraction work up to us. What do you say? Alright, we're gonna ask you to stop. Oh my god, no, no, oh my god. <laughs> it's these girls. Misfortune Sisters. Who's there? We don't have any time to waste with... Clover, we haven't seen you since you walked out of the clan. Where have you been all this time? I don't have to tell you nothing. Damn, she's mad. Look, you can carry on digging on that treasure you're after, and then you'll give it to us. I don't think you... Why you I don't know why you even look surprised. It's not as we were hard to follow. What we seek may be precious as treasure, but it isn't about how valuable it is. We needed to restore how this awful sky to normal. There is goody two shoes act of yours, okay, the Pearl Clan in the first place. Enough, I don't care why you ran off to play bandit, but I won't let you get in Leon's way. Uh yo, they're gonna fight alongside us. Well not technically there's no triple battles, but yeah. Where I go, I am the eldest of your unlucky charm, especially after this battle. She has two Pokemon. I was gonna say the game is trash. Oh yeah, I have the pa the Lord of Time, Dialga. I don't think they're gonna live. That's all I will say. <laughs> and then the that <laughs> Oh, it's just so funny. I think they'll do anything. Ooh, a Gengar. Yo, you can't even see my dial because... Oh wait, hold on. I'm just being stupid. Oh yeah. Earth power. He doesn't have Levitate. And he doesn't have it anymore, technically, because after Gen... In Gen 7, his power was changed from Levitate to, I'm pretty sure, Cursed Body, which is the worst decision I've ever seen. <laughs> You're rather formidable. Thank you. I've been training. Come on, Clover, why don't you come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing, we're changing, and we could really use someone as strong as you are. Are you joking? I've got no interest in living back in that place, with all the stupid rules. Look, we'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you better do something about that sky. You're as strong as ever, Arker. Maybe you really can do something about that monstrous creature at the top of the mountains. 
But even if you do, the next time we meet, you won't escape without a beating. Remember that. Alright. Oh, they use smoke bombs. Nice. Honestly, those three, what did they even come here for? Oh, well, I'll heal up everyone's Pokemon. You got potions? Give me some of those. The coin that I remember never hesitate to help um, someone in need, even if she growls that she did so. I suspect that it may have been uh, worried about us, perhaps even waiting to help, wanting to help. Then they should have they should have just said so. What a pain they are, hiding behind all that attitude. Yeah, he's he's right. What did they do to Sligoo? It looks so ugly. Look at it. <laughs> I was able to extract some of that origin ore, or whatever you wish to call it, I suppose. It had better go to you with, with you, Arthur. You've taken a piece. Oh my god, it's a piece. Uh... Oh, okay. I no wonder Cleaver recognizes you as a worthy right, uh, warden. Let's hurry back and show him what we got. Let's see if this is all we need to do. If it is, I am hoping it just is. Please, let it be just that. Moonview Arena. Hopefully my microphone is not that high pitch or that loud. So I apologize for any peaks in sound. Like this one. The stone of creation's beginning, the origin ore. Yes, one can certainly feel an imposing aura emanating from it. Could this be the feeling of the very origin itself? I've been meaning to ask uh, since you brought that up. But the origin of what exactly? Of everything, and by the sound of it. Exactly, my girl. Now then, back to back we go to Jubilee Village. Oh, okay, that's odd. You'd think we would just go back to fight Palkia. Here we are, Professor Leventon, what remains of the red chain, broken as it may be. A splendid, even in pieces, I think we'll find that it's still perfectly fit for a purpose. We're jolly lucky that you had to, you had the uh, foresight to pick up at least the broken bits uh, back at the temple. Your turn. Uh, next comes the Stone of Creation's beginning. Uh, the fragments of the red chain collected the great personal risk by the Pearl Clan. Then the Stone of Creation's beginning, which we learned first, which we first learned uh, thanks to the Diamond Clan. And now it is time for the Galaxy team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. Akari, my girl, uh, you are one of the, our team's greatest fast people. Could you uh, could you do the honors? This is my true battlefield, even if it may be safe indoors. This may take us some time. Perhaps the rest of you best have to wait outside while we work. Alright, you're just gonna kick us out? Come on, Mr. Fresher. Wish they heard it up in there. I'm sorry to suspect all your uh, pr prattling about the Valley of Time is a cover for your own impatience, probably. And if sitting back and waiting actually solved things, I'd sit forever because that be using time well, unlike this. Just wait like five, uh, there you go, uh, we've done it. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, just wait like five in-game seconds. I dub it the Origin Ball. If the message conveyed uh, by our good clan leader can be believed, then this would allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the tep Temple of Sinnoh. What does it look like? It looks like a Cherish Ball. Huh. Can we make more of those? At the Temple of Sinnoh. These Pokeballs of yours are full of wonders. To think the fate of all Hisui could rest in something so tiny. It's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of these uh, things brings the two of you closer together. Well, hold on. It's a voice. I hear it in my head again. You mean Dialga? Yeah. It seems the like 
Mighty Dialga is willing to lead its strength in to this fight. That's what it's telling me. That's certainly excellent news. Diamond Clan's almighty Sinnoh, or perhaps I should say Dialga, is fearsome powerful. Fearsomely powerful. Everything is ready now, Arker. Take the Origin Ball and hurry back to the Temple of Sinnoh together with Dialga. Again, I'm guessing that... Um, I'm actually kind of happy that the Pokeball kind of resembles Palkia, so there's that. But at the same time, um, I think that is a difference that if you choose... Uh, is it Irene? I forgot her name. Irida, I think. It's Kohita. And here you are, Lost One, ready to face your fate at Top Mount Coronet. It seems a vicious battle might await you. I'll go where I go, where I must. Oh, well said. Now, hearken to my words, young ones. Time cannot be s severed from space, nor space from time. The being you will encounter at the, te at the Temple of Sinnoh is Palkia, the ruler of all space. If it is allowed to run wild, space itself will warp and ban it here in Hisui, and eventually, the very world may be broken. But you have the aid of its counterpart, Dialga, the ruler of time, and therein lies hope. Balance will be brought to, space, to time and space, and the world can once again be as it should. Now, take Dialga at your side and make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. I must say, it is quite intriguing, the intriguing village. Perhaps I'll have a look around before I go. See what your clothier has to offer. Excuse me, is this time for sh Is this the time for shopping? Well, I hardly have time for shopping if the world ends, will I, young man? Fair point. <laughs> She's got a point, actually. Alright, once you feel ready, set out. We make it to the Temple of Sinnoh once more. I mean, I'm ready. So, yeah. Let's go to Mount Coronet. Uh. I don't re. Oh, wait. I think I went to the wrong one. I don't remember which one it was. Oh, cool. We did it. Okay, no, wait, we went to the wrong one. No. No, we're in the right one. Huh. Okay, I guess we just gotta go again. Let me just do this with uh, Sneasler. into the sky. Awesome, it's only been 13 minutes. That is the wrong Pokemon. I thought Benny was it. Oh, it's Bolo. Just a boy I've been waiting for. That is not something you should say. I know you can buy various sundries at the base camp, but I thought it might be helpful if I set up here, close to the temple. I want to have front row seats if there's a chance to see into the world of myth and legend. I'll probably be creeping even closer to the action once the battle actually begins. But, oh, but you won't have to worry about me. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. And besides, I know all too well the strength of you and your Pokemon. I've got no doubt you'll have this whole thing tied up in, in an neat bow before I could possibly be in any danger. Alright. Cool. Perfect. I love, I love that. It's so cool.
Can I see Palkia from here? No, I cannot. Like, you could probably actually see him. For so long, I... For so long, I thought I had it. To eliminate any outsider... Outside element that might threaten the people of Jubilat Village. Whether that meant banishing you or seeking to destroy the Pokemon at the temple, I felt it was my only path. But now you've shown me that I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge, recruit? I'm ready to fight. I got my stun Pokemon. Let's meet tomorrow together. What is that supposed to mean? It's a saying we've got it in the Diamond Clan. It means you hope you'll be both be staying safe. Hmm, perhaps it's worth listening to that Diamond Clan has to say sometimes as well. Hey, now just kiss. We will support you in whatever we can. Though I highly value you need it. Uh, protect Hisui and her people. So Hisui is a her? Nice. Protect time and space for the Pokemon. For her Pokemon. So are they calling Arceus a her? Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna be quiet. I'm sorry, what just happened there? What? Oh my god. Oh god. I gotta I gotta go. I gotta go. Yo, this this soundtrack is dope! Come on, come on. Oh my god, this is so cool! <laughs> this is the... Ah, I'm getting hit! No, you're not. Yo, this transformation is so cool! It's actually dope! It's like Arceus and, and Palkia together. That is awesome. Ah, I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit so many times. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I got hit! No! <laughs> that was just me being bad. <laughs> but this battle is so cool! <laughs> I've never been so... No, I will continue the battle. Uh, it... Keep the previous progress, please. But this battle is so awesome. <laughs> I've never been so amazed at a Pokemon game. Like, unlike this one. It's insane how good this game is. 
Ah, I, I think I don't think you can dodge that. Okay. Dodge that. Okay, I can bring that out. Uh, I got hit again. Come on, come on. One more, one more. A couple, couple more, a couple more. There you go. He caught it. He really did it. Oh my god, this is so... Uh, uh. <laughs> I, My eyes aren't like He actually went in and caught it. Good show. This man is literally just Mr. Pops. Or Pops from regular show, honestly. Fearsome with the origin ball. Absolutely astounding as ever. Thanks, Sinnoh. Hey. <laughs> yes, this man is crying. So even the commander shed uh, sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. Yes, what a sight to be witness. <laughs> Ouch, what gives, commander? Not sure I deserve the sumo throw. Well, at least it seemed that this is no dream. Listen up, all of you. We faced a calamity unlike we have any we have known. What we were able to get overcome it by working as one. This calls for a celebration, a festival for us all. Gather your clans, this will be the greatest celebration in Hisui. With the Diamond Clan? Two clans together, huh? Well, since it turns out we were both following a true almighty sin of our own, I guess the times when we did fight over the who's wrong and right are ancient history now. Sure, our ancestors would be shocked to see us agree, but this may... This may well be the best path toward protecting the space we all share. Let us celebrate, for today dawns a new day for all those who live in the Hisui region. No, I will tell you, those cutscenes were some of the best cutscenes I have ever seen in any Pokemon game known to man. We still have the god Pokemon to catch. But that is not achievable until we catch every single po Oh, that's the end. Wow, okay. Honestly, I thought there would be another episode. Wow, honestly, I... I will have this segment of the video be my own thoughts on my like my own opinion of this game and honestly this is definitely I know it might be just the high of it being brand new and everything but it is definitely in my opinion the best Pokemon game that has come out period like you really can't say anything Yes, there are some technical aspects that don't really fit and that should definitely be improved on. For example, the graphics. Some of the graphics in the areas do not look that good. But at the same time, this just opens an avenue 
for Game Freak to actually get more polish to the games in the future. Or even, like this game, in my opinion, already looked beautiful. And it's, it, in my opinion, um, Sword and Shield look great, don't get me wrong. But I think this looks better. In my, and this is honestly my wholehearted opinion. Uh, for, for those that were around in the 3DS era, Pokemon Sun and Moon were the games that pushed the system to its limits. It was pretty much close to what Sword and Shield are, but just in like 240p on the 3DS. So, there is that. Honestly, uh, I absolutely enjoy this game. Uh, for me, it is a 10 out of 10. Honestly. There was, this is one of the games where I actually was not frustrated with anything. Unless there's been like some frustration in any video that I recorded in the past. That is fine, I don't really care. But, in, okay, so back, I know I'm making a lot of points right now, but in a technical standpoint, in my opinion, it is the best looking Pokemon game at the moment. Uh, the upscale Sun and Moon games that are completely HD and remove the outlines and everything, those look fantastic, but those are not what we got as the product. Those are people putting the game and putting it through like 50 different co-paints uh, and, and just making it look like how it's meant to look. Sword and Shield, the cutscenes in that game are also beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but at the same time, it it didn't. Get, it, I was so bored with the story in Sword and Shield. This story, it's like, yes, it's Sinnoh. Yes, Palkia, Dialga, we've known this for over a decade now. But it is a new avenue of... It's This is pretty much the platinum to the remakes that came out in November of last year. This is our platinum. Yes, I'm pretty sure we can catch Giratina. This is, we didn't get Giratina, but we got, technically, what we were meant to have. Arceus. Thank you for adventuring with us. I'm taking a screenshot on that. What? What? Why can't I take a capture? That is so bullcrap. But I've never had this much fun with a Pokemon game since Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon, honestly, I had so much fun with that game. And especially Ultra Sun and Moon. That was just even more fun for me. Uh, I did end up buying both Ultra Sun and Moon and... Uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so I did not finish one of the games because I did get burnt out a little out of Pokemon, but th both the remakes for Gen 4 and this game have brought my love back for Pokemon. It is astonishing how much Game Freak can do with the same mechanics that they've added in this game and putting it in a modern era. Imagine, I know this is probably asking too much, but Gen 5 is the next generation for remakes. Imagine an upscale Gen 5 that looks like Arceus. It might have better uh, graphics. Who knows? We don't know anything that is going on right now. Generation 9, it could definitely have some of the same elements as this game. Or, it, here's the thing. For me, I cannot go back to the regular catching style of... Uh, Pokemon. I feel like it is already ha has been done multiple times. Uh, I don't know how hard shiny hunting in this game is compared to other games. Uh, so yeah. Aside from that, I love this game. I enjoyed the story. It, it's. I enjoyed the story for what it was. Honestly, the nobles, the bro, the that cutscene with Dialga and Palkia insane i don't know if there is an alternate where if you choose irida you get palkia as your defending pokemon and you see dialga as the attacking pokemon so i honestly don't know i'm gonna have to look that up so yeah or i i might even replay the whole game just to see that who knows 
I, I don't normally replay my Pokemon games unless I know that I've transferred all my Pokemon to the newest game. So if I transfer all my Shinies and that kind of stuff to Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, I'm probably going to replay it again because I had so much fun with this game. It has been five minutes of me just talking about this game continuously. But all in all, this game is revolutionary for Pokemon. I honestly wouldn't don't care what anyone says. This is the best experience of Pokemon. If you give this to someone and then you give them, let's say, Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl, they'll be like, oh, it's those guys that I just ca caught in uh, Legends Arceus. It's probably going to be just like that, just them as separate stories. No, it's just you walking as a Chibi character, <laughs> pretty much. But... Let us continue. Let us continue. Seek out all Pokemon. Interesting. Prepare well and then make the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Huh. Good morning. It looks like the space-time rift has vanished. The sky has gone back to normal again, which I suppose means we'd better get back to the original mission, completing the Pokedex. We're going to meet the Survey Corps office to discuss our next steps. See you there soon. Interesting. I don't have Palkia with me. Is that? No, that's not Bolo. It looked like her. Him. This is just. Oh wait, is this? Who's? Who is you? Oh. You can trade Pokemon still. That's insane. You can trade Pokemon. I want items. There's the linking cord! Oh, okay. Also, oh, this is where, how you get your items. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Very nice. Okay, so I just need to do a lot of uh, finding satchels and things so I can get more um, points so I can trade for those. Or I can just trade with one of my friends. One of my friends does have a sword and has Legends Arceus. I gave it I gave it to him because I had the full version of the game coming with me. So yeah. So I trust you enjoy yourself at the at the festival. Sure did. I did not even get to read that. <laughs> Indeed. You, that only seems natural given the crowd. I believe the last night was the first time I've caught a glimpse of you make, making merry, Captain. I believe you must be imagining things. Now, Professor Levinson, to business. What is the current state of the progress of the Pokedex? I dare say we've made quite a significant progress in all in all. Though we could afford to put a little more effort into our research tasks. And of course, it is hard to know how far to go in, in pursuit of some reports. Certain Pokemon have only been mentioned in Hisui's legends. After all, who knows if they are all even real? With how little we know about Hisui's history and legends, it seems a tall order for us to tackle. Pardon. Uh, I couldn't help over here. Uh, it is if it's Hisuian's history and legends you want, then I'm your man. Why I spent plenty of time studying such things instead of uh, <clears throat> I mean, while also tirelessly doing my work at the Gink uh, for the Ginkgo Guild, and I visited many of the ruins and whatnot here in the Hisuian region already. I imagine I could teach you one thing or two about any Pokemon in the Legend of these parts. Oh-ho, music to my ears, my good fellow. Listen well, Arthur. You are to learn all you can from the merchant Bolo and work together as needed, for the sake of the Pokedex. We, meanwhile, will also continue to gather intelligence of Pokemon by other means. Understood. It's all set up in the hike camps, then. Arthur, I'll be expecting you. Nice. 
Besides, I have something I'd like to discuss with you, too. So I hope you won't keep me waiting. I guess the game just continues. Okay, so what is this Lucario doing? This is the first time I've seen a Lucario, by the way. In this game. Not overall. Something to matter, Lucario? <gasps> Yo, it's the boy! Re. And you are? Ah, you're Arthur. Nice to meet you. Roof. What is it, Lucario? Roof. It seems, Lucario, since you're strong arrow, too. If you're willing to battle us, uh, you could come to the training grounds. Steely Lucario. Nice. Okay. Let's just go meet Volo and end this episode. I'll be back. I'll be back for you. <laughs> my my woman, RSU. I'll be back. We are heading to where Volo is. He's at the height camps. Heights camp. At the height camps. The heights camp. Where's the boy at? Wait, wait a minute. Okay, I want to see my Pokemon. Palkia, level 65. Kadabra, you are being replaced. I have three powerful dragons. Do they interact with each other? Wow, Dialga is much bigger. He did. I know, I saw that. He didn't. You're a good one. Ah, he smiled. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's the the hieroglyphs. There you are. Have a look here, if you will. A long, a good long, close look, please. I see these patterns molded after Pokemon. I've come to think that they may be, they might be letters, rather like hieroglyphics, hieroglyphs, if you if you will. I've inspected ruins across the region and have included all that they all seem to have the same ta tale. The tale of a brave soul who, together with the Pokemon at his side, went on a journey to his. To search for the fragments of an all-encompassing deity. A deity? Yes, an all-encompassing deity, the creator of the very of this very universe, and its name and it is Arceus. Tile drop. Perhaps you've already heard his name. It does sound familiar. Of course, what else could I have expected from the hero who saved the Hisura region? But now let us discuss the fragments. They must surely be the plates. Yes, the very plates you collected as well as you went about quelling all the friends of nobles. Have you noticed that they've got all the words carved into their backs? Go on. Give them a read. You read the text engraved in the back of the first plate you've attained. The original one breathed al alone before the universe ca came. The or this original one is none other than the Pokemon known as Arceus. So what do you say, Arker? I think we should try to gather all the plates. And I've got just the, just the idea where to start search. Join me in the heart of Grueling Grove. Okay. I will end it here. It has been an experience playing this game, and honestly, I could not be happier. My team, while well, yes, this is the first time where my team wasn't a set team that I knew I wanted to have. This was just me going on, going into the game pretty much blind. Yes, I, okay, I will admit, I did see the final forms of Dialga and Palkia. I know what they look like, but actually seeing them animated is honestly one of the coolest things I've ever seen. But, yeah, I, I would just 
I, I honestly had no idea what Pokemon I wanted to have. Staraptor just became a part of the team because he was so powerful. My starter, of course, I had to have him. Gabite, I always had to have a Garchomp, even though he, he hasn't become a Garchomp, but... The plan for this game, this is pretty much the last episode. The next um, couple episodes in this series will be part of the little side quest that we have to do up until Arceus. Every now and then, I'll be catching Pokemon in my own free time. And if I encounter some story, I will just keep it there. And whenever I can record it, I will record it. I, I'll dock it. I'll start off the, the recording session. And then I'll start from there. I will put it up in probably like a couple different segments. So I can have more videos to put out. But this is episode 20. And honestly, it has been a journey. It is definitely as long as our Age of Calamity playthrough. And honestly, I enjoyed that as well. But I, I'm pretty sure I, I enjoyed this a little more, <laughs> I will say. But if you guys enjoyed, stick around, subscribe, like the video, whatever you want to do. Not my own problem. You can do whatever you want. If you liked it, again, hit a like. It lets me know that you want more. Even though I'm still going to do it more so myself. Can you stop talking in the back? I don't want to switch out my Pokemon. I'm just going to move a little. Uh, uh, stop it. Okay, but it has been a wild run. I will bring out every single Pokemon that I have. And I will say pretty much goodbye. Again, thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.